Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about the fact that a lot of women are really hurting right now. Some women are working two jobs and still cannot afford a place to live. So let's talk about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like and share the video, it's free. The creator of the heavens and the earth said the highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth before destruction, and in haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly, than to divide the spoil with the proud. He that handleth the matter wisely shall find good, and whoso trusteth in the most high happy is he. The wise in heart shall be called prudent. For most women life is hard right now, and for some it is a lot harder. I've seen a video on a woman that is working two jobs, and she is living in her car because she cannot afford rent. And what really surprised me was the fact that she was not in the state of California, she was in Arizona. So I looked up a few prices on apartments, and I was surprised again by how much they are asking for these days just to rent a studio apartment in Arizona will run you $1,000 and up. I also seen that a one bedroom in Chicago is going for $1,700 and up. How can a single person afford to pay these ridiculous rent prices? Pride goeth before destruction, and in haughty spirit before a fall. Pride is leading a lot of our women, they would rather struggle and live in their car, than get ahead which is a husband, and this is their fall. And if you have a kid or two, as a single woman, I can only imagine how much harder it can be. How can you live off of one income, especially if you are only making minimum wage, which is only $13.85 an hour in Arizona? That adds up to $550 for 40 hours a week. And then the government will take about $50 of that. So four weeks of work, you will bring home $2,000. Once you pay your rent, you can't afford to have a car note unless you plan on living in it. The car notes on a used car these days starts at $350. How can you afford gas for your car? And with the price of food continuing to cost more, how can you afford to eat? The poor people will have to pick and choose to eat or pay a bill. This wicked world has made it so much harder on the poor. Unless you are rich or in the upper middle class, you are hurting right now. The wicked has done their job well, and I say that because a lot of our people are totally gone. They have passed go, and there is no coming back. They have joined their enemies, and they will die with them. And it is only going to get worse, nothing here is getting better, not for the poor. And this wicked government's answer is to keep raising interest rates on everything, trying to hold off the recession, but the truth is this place is already in a recession. And the government raising interest rates is only really hurting the poor, because the rich is still getting richer. The oil and gas companies, Shell, Conoco, Phillips, and Chevron are making trillions while the poor is getting poorer. In fact, the rich is making things worse for most of us with higher gas prices, car notes, house payments, and credit card payments. With the price of car notes increasing, Car repossessions is on the rise, but it is still below pre-pandemic levels, which is not saying much. And the sad part is, there does not seem to be an end in sight. Jobs are going away, with store closings, layoffs at the companies that paid better salaries. I know that we have not seen the worst of it. In fact, I think things will only get worse, and in some ways I don't think it will ever get that much better. I think this is the new normal, they ship most of the manufacturing jobs overseas, they really don't make much here in the States anymore. The United States will not recover, look at all the cities here the homeless is out of control in every single city in America. How will they solve that problem? The answer is they won't it will just keep getting worse. The cost of living is so bad for some people now they have to buy their food and pay for it later in order to feed themselves and their kids. Consumers are increasingly using buy now, pay later apps to cover the cost of their rising food bills amid high inflation. And the rising prices have some cash-strapped shoppers reaching for these alternative payment methods for everyday purchases, such as their daily coffee, gas station fill-up, or grocery run as well. That's a concern for economists and consumer advocates who say the surge in the use of these services, coupled with a lack of transparency and little regulatory oversight, leaves them wondering just how much debt Americans are actually getting into. While other household debt, such as credit card spending and auto loans, is gathered and tracked by the Federal Reserve. By now, pay later data is not included because the financing is typically provided by non-bank sources and not yet reported in a comprehensive manner to credit bureaus. From a firm in Apple to PayPal and Zip, by now and pay later transactions are currently estimated to be at least $100 billion annually, a figure that analysts say could skyrocket to between $1 trillion to $4 trillion within a few years. 
These types of services split a purchase into four or more installment payments to be paid over a period of a few weeks or months. Customers can open a new account for each transaction or they can keep one account for their purchases as long as they have made their payments on time. Buy now pay later accounts are typically offered with zero or minimal interest and often come without a hard credit check. To make money, the buy now pay later providers charge merchants between 1.5% to 7% of the transaction price. Despite its rapid growth, buy now pay later has raised red flags for economists, regulators and attorneys general. They've cautioned that because the services are not regulated as credit product, it has resulted in a Wild West style market with varying terms and conditions and few checks and balances. One significant downside is the risk of getting into debt fairly easily without realizing it. The installment process makes it seem like someone is paying practically nothing for the goods or service they're acquiring. Pride goeth before destruction and in haughty spirit before fall. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. It is only going to get harder from here. But following the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Creator of the heavens and the earth will make your life easier. He that handleth the matter wisely shall find good, and who so trusteth in the Most High happy is he. The wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share the video. Until next time.